Welcome to our top talker. You've probably noticed Columbus is becoming a real hot spot for big technology. Amazon is building two data centers in the area. Recently, we had news that Google is announcing plans to do the same thing. Meanwhile, Intel announced that it would build that huge chip plant down there. And now the White House has eyes set on the Franklin County area. I think everybody's happy for the state of Ohio, but Clevelanders are going, what does Columbus have that Cleveland doesn't? I mean, we love to have a chip on our shoulder here uh, in <laughs> northern Ohio. <laughs> we do. Uh, so we sent our Matt Rascone out on a mission today to find find out why. Why is Columbus getting all this love and Cleveland seems to be forgotten? What did you find out today, Matt? Yeah, Betsy and Jay, it's a theme I've heard from the governor, from various organizations, and now the city. Cleveland, they say, is missing out because of land. And we're not talking about any kind of land. We're talking about shovel-ready land, ready for business. And uh, I heard it when I spoke to the governor last week. Companies are attracted to places that have ground that's ready to go. And it's something that is top of mind for many in the city, especially after those recent announcements you guys mentioned, sending business to Columbus. Just today, the White House announced a workforce hub is coming to Ohio's capital. And not long after that announcement, Cleveland's development chief presented a proposal to committee just today that would set aside $50 million in American Rescue dollars to get land ready for business. We have uh, lost jobs and lost population in the city of Cleveland over the last 30 years, and, and this is an effort to reverse that, uh, to create opportunity that will attract more residents, that will strengthen our neighborhoods, that will remove blight. Uh, this, we think, is, is one of the most critical investments that we can make as a government. As you see. That was the development chief, Jeff Epstein. He told me they're working with state and county partners to try to match that amount so there would be $100 million in a site readiness fund. The city council tells me they get people reaching out often, asking if there's a place for business uh, right here in Cleveland. And often the answer, unfortunately, is no. They don't have the land ready. So we'll hear from that city councilman coming up in the news at 530. Jane right. Matt, that's fascinating information. Thank you. We appreciate it. Best